Hello and welcome my Zero Two Leaves. Well, we did this already with the original adventure cast, so we're moving on to Zero Two. And if you haven't watched the original video, which you should by the way, then here's a quick refresher on the rules. We will give each tamer in Digimon Zero Two, or Digidescent as they were called there, a new Digimon partner. But they can only be Digimon that already existed at the time of the show ending. So 2001 is the year for that. We do have a little problem here though. That is Joe Grassing and Armor Evolution. For Armor, I'll just invent a new Digimon and describe it as best as I can. Cannot really draw one myself, so... Yeah, you have to use your imagination, but we'll go with that. For Joe Grossing, I'll just choose something that fits. As well as for the Mega Level, of course, that will be an evolution as well. So, let's start. First, we have our Goggle Kid, Daisuke. His Vmon is a callback to the Vtamer manga. So, can we do anything with that? Yes, and that would be the unnamed Digimon from the very first Digimon manga, Come on, Digimon! Bun. Bun is supposed to be a mixture of Agumon and Koromon, but I think it could easily just be its own Digimon finally. And why not just call it Bunmon? How does this tie into Vtamer? Well, first off, that manga was printed in Volume 2 of the Vtamer manga as a special, and the other reason, you'll see. For the Courage Armor Evolution, I think Flaydramon would work as it is, but that's not what we are here for. So why don't we reverse it? Imagine a four-legged Flaydramon, basically a Lydramon, but with all the flaming stuff. And let's call it Burndramon. Similar to that, imagine a humanoid Lydramon for the friendship armor, and let's call that Thundramon. I think that would be interesting and look cool. And now the adult level it gets, which will just be Vidramon. Yeah, why not? Still a good callback, and I think it didn't even appear in the anime ever, so that would be great. Now, Daisuke's Jogres partner, Ken. We will not give him a bug, mainly because we don't have many options that would fit. So he gets Lobmon which I think can work fine as a timid partner that tries to get its tamer back onto the good side. It does not armor evolve, so let's get straight to the adult level, which is Yokomon. You might wonder why I didn't chose Turuemon or Wendigomon, but I want the four-leggedness for the Jogras, which will be Sagittarimon. Yes, I don't really like using armor levels as regular levels, in this case perfect, but it just works out so well. And of course, we need a Mega for it. Which will be Ophos Vidramon. Because it is cool, would fit, and we don't have much choice. But we will give it a Drag Mode, think of Imperial Dramon, but mixed with this. And the regular one will be the Fighter Mode. Also, maybe turn it more like black and red to fit Sagittarimon and Daisuke and Ken more. Maybe not. I'm not sure what you should do here. Okay, next one will give us a real problem. The sheer lack of birds for Miyako. So, as she also has a tie to Mimi, she will get Mushmon. And yes, somehow these team exchanges turn out to give our heroes a lot of generally evil mons. Oh well. Now, her first armor evolution is Love, and it should be bird-like. Now here's my idea. It will be a humanoid bird with a mushroom-like body, and the actual digimental parts are its fists. It also has wings made out of bark, and the cap acts like a cowboy hat. Oh, and the name will be Punchroomon. Now her second one is a lot easier. Of course, we will retain the ninja image. It will not really be bigger than before. A small ninja. 
Imagine a Sproutling from Legend of Mana, but them being ninja. The head will be looking like the Digimental and it throws Shuriken. For the name, Shurimon leaves out the Ken part of Shuriken. So why not do that here as well, just with the Shu part, making it Rikenmon. The adult I chose for Mashmon will be Woodmon. Clean and simple. So, her Jogress partner is Hikari, which we covered already, so we just need the Jogressing of Woodmon and Wizardmon as well as Wizardmon's armor. Let's start with armor and that will be White Magemon. Imagine White Mage from Final Fantasy, the classical ones, but with angelic wings and a golden staff. And of course the mouth is covered. Now let's mix Wizardmon and Woodmon. Ashuramon would be perfect here, combining the magic aspect with ties to nature and spiritualism. Its mega will be Vulcanusmon, which technically debuted later, but as these pairings have yet to reach mega, that works. We just need to wait for a movie where they actually reach that level. Now Iori. Similar problem, so we'll go with his watery aspects and Otamamon. And first, we have his Digimental of Knowledge. What I'm thinking about for this one is a round body in yellow armor with a drill at the front and two small eyes. It has six insect-like legs, each of those with a drill at the end. And the name will be Drillmon, as a nod to Digmon. For sincerity, Submarimon would work just fine again. But to make a new one for this, let's do a U-Boatmon. Imagine a shark torpedo combination with a cockpit on the back. And the propellers, of which it has three, look like Otamamon's fins. For adults, at first I thought about Tortamon to still have it be big. But that would be too similar to Ankylomon. So I'd rather stay aquatic and give it Koelamon. Now, on to his Jogress partner. Takeru, again, only has one Digimental, that being Hope. And that is easy, just imagine it as a golden version of this Saint Seiya figurine, bringing Toy Agumon and Hope together perfectly. Now, what is the Jogress between Pitmon and Koelamon? Not necessarily the holiest thing, but Mermaimon would be a nice fit. Especially if it goes into Marine Angemon for Mega sometime later in a movie or something. But this isn't it. There's one more armor, which you might have thought I missed. But it just makes a good final thing. Bunmon with a Digimantle of Miracles. While Magnamon, again, would fit quite well already. Of course we want to do something different here. Let's have it still be humanoid. Of course, clad in golden armor that looks like the Digimental, but also give it mechanical wings as a nod to Arrow Vidramon being a Vidramon with wings. And it will have a spear, with the spearhead being a similar shape to the Crest of Miracles. And its name shall be Magnadramon. Yes, I know there already is a Magnadramon, but its original name is Holy Dramon, so it would work out. Also, like Vimon lost the Dra of Vidramon, we'll add it back here, which would be a nice touch. So, do you like my takes on these new partners? Tell me in the comments below if you would do something different or not. Also, arm up the like and subscribe button as well as that little bell to keep updated whenever I upload a new video. And check out the links in the description leading to my Twitter and Instagram where I post stuff and also keep you updated. And my Twitch is there as well, where I livestream every Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Digimon Survivor Mondays, don't forget. I hope to see you over there as well and until next time, bye -bye.